Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for a Survive the Hunt. Yes, it is that time once more when I'm going to be trying to stay alive. This time, we're going back to a little bit more of an, an old school version. We're going back to exploding some prees. I have to survive for 24 hours while blowing up as many prees as we can. In fact, it makes sense. We will set off at midnight. Uh, yes, hello everyone. Hello. We will slightly crash into you uh, on the way past. Uh, so, we've got to survive for 24 hours of GTA 5 time uh, while that lot are giving chase. In case you haven't seen one of these before, I'll go through the rules quickly. Uh, there is no map, there is no name over players. I'm only allowed to use the city, uh, but this is all about blending in for me to a degree, of course, because I can't blend in the entire time. We're going to have to try and blow up some cars. Uh, now, I do know where those vehicles are located. I have a map on my second monitor with where the prees are located. Ultimately, the hunters do want me to blow up some of the prees because it gives them a good idea as to roughly where I am. Uh, if I blow up a pre, whoever owns that car, because they were personal vehicles, will be notified their car has exploded and that will mean I am in that part of the map. The slight variation on the rule set, if you like, for this one. I cannot call Lester. So I can't have cops turn a blind eye when I go to blow up a car. I can't get rid of a wanted level if anything happens, because it's GTA and weird stuff happens all the bloody time. So, this is going to be a difficult one for me in some ways. Spawn set for cars is garbage. It really is garbage. And gauntlet's about the only option i got here. It's going to have to be a gauntlet. Um, I say it's the only option. The reason why, look, you take my Audi that's worth like two million dollars for some reason and I'll take your gauntlet that's worth about 25,000. Look, take the Audi. I'll want it back at some point but this that point is not quite yet. Uh, okay, so. Oh crap, we also need to change out of our very obvious suit. Uh, right, let's go to uh, Sure, wait, I need to sort these out at some point, but for now, it's good enough. Actually, let's also have my preferred weapon ready if we need it. Uh, always like to have the big uh, LMGs ready for a shootout. Um, my preferred weapon of choice. Just fill, uh, which way do I want to go? Fill the air with bullets. Uh, we don't really want to go to the airport just yet. Um, right, we are off. We are underway. Everything is set. Uh, now, I could, as you see there, is a rapid GT up ahead. And I could grab one of those. We have a rule uh, in this. You know what? I don't know if that lane's straight on or it was. A, I don't want to go right. Um, it doesn't really matter. Either way, the, the hunters won't have really been in visual range yet. They won't have st I get a two-minute head start, so they'll have barely set off. So it doesn't really matter whether I mess up one lane or quite what I do. Anyway, I digress from where I was going. Um, the reason why I am not jumping in a rapid GT or a Comet is because... If I got in one of those vehicles, um, then the hunters get access to faster cars. So we have a supercar rule, uh, whereby if I stay in lower spec cars, things like a gauntlet is fine, uh, the hunters aren't allowed to get a rapid GT or a Comet off the streets and, and race one of those, and use one of those. Um, however, as soon as I drive one at any point during a hunt, then for the rest of the hunt, uh, they are free game for everybody. So it's like a last ditch. It stops me from just abusing the fastest cars I can get. I have to think more. Um, they, they are still available, but it becomes like a last ditch thing. And if I do go for it, it means I've got to commit to that plan. Now, there is a pre at the Chinese Monument. Uh, we can blow it up. The difficult bit is okay, it's night time. So. What we're going to do is get the window wound down. Um, less likely to spot um, messed up windows at night. The, the visual, because, you know, you've got... Um, what's the right word for it? Like, the, the brightness from the lights is likely to prevent someone noticing the uh, window being down on a car. That was... Bloody hell, I was busy farting around with the radio. Ewan has just driven past with the sand king, which I'm going to presume it was a Ewan, uh, in that. Uh, now, this is difficult. I mean, we can give it a little bit of time. 
didn't necessarily want to go for this one first, but it looks like we're going to. Like the second I blow this up, I've got to run. I can't really do much. I mean, I'm not. Another rule we have is I'm not, I've got to be within you know sensible visual range of the pre. Uh, I can't just drive across the other side of the map and detonate it. Uh, actually, I can technically take this turn, can't I? Because we can go right on a bloody red light. Uh, oh, bugger, that went too far. I thought I saw it on the roof. Okay, well, we're going to have to come back and do this again. Um, we messed it up. We messed it up. The first bomb missed. The second one didn't. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Oh, God, police. Police forgot they were going that way. as a police station. Uh, God damn it. All right, we're going black out. Uh, oh god, there's a stammy air there, not what I needed. Uh, that's not even the turning that I wanted, this is the turning that I wanted. Uh, I'm hoping we can get away from the orange and black gauntlet that was around. Now, we're going for a little bit of a risky strategy here. Oop. No, it's still there behind us. God damn, I was hoping I was going to be able to break the line of sight. If it has a crash in the tunnel, that'll be really helpful. We got rid of the police. That is an important step. There is a police car uh, over there. Ooh, we will dive across here. Okay, Gauntlet, use blinding speed. There's a van. I, I mean, I screwed that one up a little bit myself. Uh, we overthrew the, uh, the sticky bomb. Can they see where I've gone? I don't even know if I'm still really being chased at this point. Uh, it's really tough to tell sometimes. Like, have I still got a tail? Yes, in the distance, it's still there. Uh, so, like, diving into a car park, for example, would... Oh, there's one up ahead. They've made the wrong turn. Uh, well, like, diving down here might be a good call. Ah, oh, no, they're still close enough! God damn it. Uh, I was hoping they were gonna miss seeing that one. Uh, is that an AI being weird? Yeah, oh no, it's an AI joining on from this turning up here. Uh, that's fine. I really, I really don't want the brake lights, to be honest with you. The brake lights are actually the biggest problem for me. Oh! Oh, Christ, that was close. Now we're freaking out a bunch of AIs. Uh, there's some stuff chasing us. Blimp's still above us. Okay, it doesn't even matter. We've not lost the blimp. So, whatever we do here is not going to be effective enough. Um, necessarily. In fact, going on this bridge is a big risk that I probably don't want to take, uh, unless the blimp has... No, the blimp is definitely still on us. Uh, right, we are probably in a bit more trouble. I should have drove off of here, but I'm committed now. Will they try and set up a roadblock? If they're smart, yes. It depends if they can get there in time. That is the real difficult bit. I mean, I'm at full chat in a gauntlet here. It's not going to be so easy to set up a roadblock. Oh, bailing out of here because they won't expect this. Uh, now, the blimp pilot, I believe Danger Man is in the blimp, can tell them that I've dove off, but if they're setting up a roadblock for the exit of the bridge, this is not the exit they were expecting me to go down. I spotted a car following me down there. I'm trying something here that they might not expect and the blimp might struggle to see. Uh, it's again brave. Oh, that was very movie-esque. With the truck. Come on. Come on, Gauntlet. Use some of that speed. Use some of the blinding speed, please. Uh, I can hear sirens wailing around somewhere here. Oh, that is actually one of them. I thought that was a freaked out AI car, but nope, that was uh, Stevie, I believe. What the hell is going on down here? Oh, that is one of them in a van. There's no reason why an AI car would be down here. Uh, someone's rolled. Someone else has rolled. Uh, come on. Come on, Gauntlet. Find some traction, thank you. <laughs> the orange and black one actually helped us in all of this. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I think it's Blakey as well. Team Orange reunited. Oh, is that one of them in a bus? I don't know. I just saw a high-speed bus coming along. I think it is. I think it's trying to torpedo us. Yeah, it's definitely one of those because it went very off-road. Okay. This is not going well currently. You know what? We might just have to go on an explodey tour of the map at this stage. I think... Christ, I think there's a pre somewhere around here, actually. I don't know whereabouts it is, and I'm wait. If I can't, if I don't see it within like a second, I can't really look at the map because we're too busy. Don't you flip me off on your bike? I'm the one whizzing around in a car. Oh, the fog! The fog might actually really help us here. This is going to completely confuse the blimp. It's going to really struggle to see uh, in this. 
Right, can we shoot this little gap? We can. The blimp is gone that way. Bail, bail, bail this direction. If the blimp's gone that way, they probably think I've gone that way. There's a car with no lights back there. Is that one of them or is it an AI that's had a crash? If they knew where I was, the blimp wouldn't have bailed in the wrong direction, I don't think. Unless they're not sure. There's definitely some cars missing lights, but... There's, there's definitely something there, I can't quite make it out. Yeah, we're not, we're not free. We are not home free yet. Um, it looks like a van, actually. Uh, so... Whoa! Loads of speed carried up here. I should have started the map a little bit better. Uh, to try and figure out where we might be able to shake them in the industrial area. No, it's the it's not a van, it's the gauntlet still. There is a sand king alongside us. That's still that's still around. Okay, my plan is not gonna work. because uh, I can't really use the industrial buildings. I don't know where the blimp was going then. Unless they were thinking I was in you know, a couple of potential places and decided to split up. It seems weird, but, you know, uh, oh God, I thought that was one of them in the truck. There is a pre in Mirror Park, but it would be unbelievably risky to try and get it in this high-speed chase, because I don't know exactly where it is, um, and just try and slow down and explode it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Now, I'm currently just going for high speed. Um, we know we can outrun the blimp uh, in terms of straight line pace. I mean, the gauntlet's as quick as anything they're going to have access to, and as long as I don't make a mistake, they cannot catch, cause, you know, same pace car. Uh, my hope is, is that they will make a mistake before me, but this is a risky strategy because it relies on me being perfect and the other people, because there's three or four of them, if one makes a mistake, they've still got other ones giving chase. We're a long way out of sight of the blimp now. Um, we have got a really good gap back. It might be time to uh, bail on this car. I can't see anything still behind us. Whoa, that's a lot of speed. Uh, we've been going flat out for so long. Uh, they Actually, they're going to think I've gone in the hills. So my plan, I mean, we are at the bottom of the hills. They will know to go check up here. Uh, my plan is not to stay here. It's not to, it's not to abandon the car. My plan is to go towards the oh, university bit um, on the outskirts and hope that that will do the job. I'm not going to swap car. The reason I'm not swapping car at the moment is, well, I'm going to grab an M a, 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 in an area that's already hot and already likely to be dangerous for me. If I get spotted, I'm in a worse, much worse scenario than I already am in. Oh, well, we've eaten a Feltzer. Oh, Gauntlet. This has been a hell of a chase, actually, to get us started with. There was an F620 that would have been glorious to have grabbed. Ah, uh, bloody hell. There's a pre up by Michael's house, but let's not think about stealing... Uh, blowing up pre's just yet. Oh, get over there, Gauntlet. Alright, let's just get out of here. If anyone turns up, they'll, they will assume I'm in a car. If they come around that corner and they see a parked, wrecked gauntlet, they're going to assume that I've abandoned it in favour of a car. The other thing I have got on my side, I mean, on foot, I can whip out a machine gun very quickly. Uh, I, don't, I don't think they know where I've gone. I would be surprised... I wouldn't be surprised, sorry, if they were scouring the hills uh, looking for me. The reason why I'm, I don't want to go across the road and walk along that footpath is if they are out this way, I, it will be a dead giveaway. At least up here, they might not notice me. Bloody hell, that was hard work. <laughs> gauntlet did me proud. The gauntlet did do me very, very proud. Can I get over the fence here from this rock? Maybe a rock? Yeah, we can. Oh, this is awesome, actually. This is a great little spot. 
Yeah, there's no sign. I mean, if the blimp was around, I would totally shoot it down. Uh, oh, can we... Oh, really? Can we not? Really? Can we not climb the hedge here? Come on, game. Like, even I, who am not the most athletic person in the world, I could... Oh, there we go. Woo! No way. No way! <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. No bloody way there is a pre right here. <laughs> I could not have done that one better if I bloody tried. I can't do anything about it. I can't blow up a pre and then try to go away. I would. I totally would if I could call Lester. But I can't call Lester. Do you have a car in your drive I could borrow? No, you don't. God damn it. That would have been awesome. That would have been so good. I, yeah. Did not realise there was one on this. I know where this one is. Uh, right. So what I'm doing here currently is I'm waiting for an interesting car to appear on this side of the road. So I can grab that and go for a run. There's... Oh, the blimp has turned up, but it's way out of sight. And I can't rocket the blimp from here. Uh, person ahead, could you walk a little faster? I feel like we're going to have a weird interact. Well, we're going to have a weird interaction anyway because it's GTA and people. Why have you turned around there? You. Uh, right. Well, I've not seen anything good while walking down here. I'm just going to wait. It's going to be a Gauntlet or an F620. Is that an Oracle over there? Maybe. Uh, I don't. As I said, I don't want to use a supercar unless. We're really out of options, because once I've used, like, I could grab that bullet, but once I've used it, I have to be in supercars the whole time. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it will make my chases a lot harder to get away from. Because uh, we, we have, you'd have to be on it, you'd have to make no mistakes. And if I can avoid it, I'd like to. I'd like to get the F620, but... Oh, don't spawn Staniers, I don't want a Stanier. do want a Gauntlet. There's a blimp. Oh, get back on the footpath. It's tempting. It's, it's so tempting to rocket the blimp. And we've had a terrible, terrible run in that we're blowing up one... One pre? Yeah? I think so. I think that's all we're blowing up. Can I grab that gauntlet here? And the lights. I don't know where the blimp's gone. Oh, crap. There's a van. Oh crap, this is bad. There's a van, I'm pretty sure... Oh no, it's not a player in the... Map of a... Oh god, I had to commit to walking in this direction because I janked around. Come on, come on, people piss off. Oh, the gauntlet's bloody moved! I just wanted a car! I just wanted a car! I don't... I mean, I do want... That one. Just let me get a car! I'm stuck on foot at a junction. What is that? Is that an F6? I don't know what that is. Looks like a Oracle or something. Jackal maybe? Zion? Zion's not in this spawn set though. Don't know what it is. Oh, weird ghosty floaty cars. What are, what are you? Are you good? Are you fast? Can I borrow you? Looks quite good. I might risk it. Yeah, it is a Zion. Whoop. Zion, 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 come here. Uh, it's not actually the best car in the world, but it's better than nothing. Um, right, I guess what makes sense to do... Now, yeah, I've got a car, so the first thing I'm going to do is give my position away. But, you know, I can't let that one live. That one there is not allowed to live, having jumped over a wall and immediately found it. Uh... Right, okay, so I know where I'm going with this. Uh, I have a plan. The blimp's actually quite close. The police might ruin said plan, but if I can just get a little bit of distance here before the police cars come in. Do you reckon we could... Uh, which way are they coming from? Please don't be out here. Please don't be out here. Please let me get rid of the wanted level before... Oh, God damn it, where are they? 
Uh, there is a downside going up here, I've just realised. I mean a car, I'm, I'm higher up currently than the blimp. In fact, I'm a little bit out of where I should be. I've gone too far up the mountainside. Don't mind me, we're coming back down towards the road I'm supposed to be on. That's a little bit cheeky. Oh, bloody hell. Come on, wanted stars. Please go away, please go away, please go away. Can I hide around the back of this building? We're going for a jog and a half up the side of a mountain. No, I can't lose the police up here. Uh, uh, amazingly, I've not scratched the car. How have they still got a vision? A vision? How have they still got visibility on me? This is very silly currently, what I'm doing. I saw a shadow fly over. Please don't let it be a blimp. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, right, the hills are really bad if you've got a wanted level because the police will just pop out of a corner somewhere and ruin your day. Oh! Jeez. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. We've got to go again. Yeah, and the, the problem was, if I wasn't going quickly, the police were going to shoot me to shreds. Um, now, that van is not going to know, necessarily, where I've gone. I mean, they know we're looking for... Oh, God. Zion, please drive. Oh, no, the van has found us. It did make the right turning. Made the right guesswork, basically, there. Limp's miles away. You know what? Screw it. They're going to be giving away, basically, my location at this point anyway. I believe there is another... Somewhere around here. Uh, I don't know whereabouts though. Oh, we will. I think we just sort of slapped a police car out of the way there. Uh, there is one up by the. Uh, why am I doing this? <laughs> I feel like we've got a million things going wrong. So let's just add more things going wrong to the list of things that can possibly go wrong. Uh, I believe there's one up here. Yeah. Uh, whoop. I would not follow me through there. Oh, I was hoping I could blow up whoever's van it was. Oh, I saw the van approaching. Go, Zion. Go. Oh, why are you getting out? I, that's, that is complete nonsense as to how the hell we got out-accelerated by a van. Uh, <laughs> a Zion should outrun a van in a straight line. I guess maybe we were spinning the wheel. Did the van have a wheel drive? I don't know. Maybe. Um... Oh, come on, Zion. Right, we've got to go now. No farting around. I knew it was a risk going for that pre. I feel like we had to go for something in that. Uh, we've, well, we've been in so badly in terms of blowing up pre's. Uh, it is so much more difficult not being able to call Lester. Like, it is ten times more difficult not being able to call Lester because the police just ruin a perfectly good plan. Uh, whoop. Oh, that's a bump and a half. That's another hunter. Oh, the just missed. I was playing that one risky. The, the reason I, I wanted to commit to that direction is I'm going to make the hunter do a U-turn, which is not... To, oh, there's another. I know where I can go. This one here is another big risk. Do we take it? Yes. We're going... We're, look, we're, we're all four big risks currently, so screw it. We're going to run down here. There is... Oh, we've missed. That one, that bit there hit. Don't blow it up just yet, because we'll blow up ourselves. Uh, whoo, we made it out of there. Everybody is behind us. Okay, Zion. Now is the time to prove your worth. Let's see what you got. Straight line speed. You should be faster than a Land Rover, right? Uh, they've got a Stanier, although well, my suspension is quite busted. We've got a, okay, we are faster than the Land Rover down the straight. <laughs> we are gone. Okay, Zion. I'm using blinding speed. It's the best option I've got currently. They are struggling to keep up. Right, keep going, Zion. Um... Where can we go down the bottom? Uh, they will not have lost a vision. They will not have lost a line of sight yet. That's the downside of just going for out accelerate. The blimp is going to turn, but actually, if I go this way up, the blimp takes a long time. It doesn't like doing U-turns, basically. You can see it's still struggling to make that turn. Now, if they've been clever and fanned out, they could have sent someone down this road in case I turned around. It doesn't look like they've found out enough why that was trying to go over there, I don't know. Zion, we're just going for straight line. I, this is the best... The best option I've got here is to use this vehicle's strength, which is apparently its top end, uh, and go for it. Now, can we shoot the narrow little gap onto there? We can. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that because I do... I, I'm quite well known for liking that little shortcut. Um... Will they have anybody? Where is the blimp? I don't think they know which way I've gone. The blimp is 
not turning this way, and I can't see another car. Well, the blimp has turned this way, but it's a such a long way back. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer. If I can find a gauntlet while I'm in the tunnel, I'll swap in there. Uh, not that there's not in the tunnel. The blimp won't be able to see if we're doing car-based shenanigans. Uh, right, there is a gauntlet. Okay, car-based shenanigans is afoot. Quickly, 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 in case anything turns up. Okay. We're off. We are out of here. We are incognito, so to speak. They will not know what I'm driving. <laughs> Woo -hoo, that was hard work. Ah, I say that was hard work. That was sketchy work. I really... Ugh. I really risked it going to blow up that one in the shopping centre. That was a really, really big gamble. It paid off, but that was a huge, huge gamble right there. Um, they didn't quite get cars in place in time, and we made it out the other side in one piece. We've still got, we've got to survive. We're only halfway through the bloody thing. Jeez. Okay. Okay, we can breathe. We can breathe. They're not sure how many breathes we've got. Uh, okay, locations. Uh, there's one down by the airport. There's one up in Mirror Park. Uh, there is one by Scotty's apartment. Uh, I guess there's one by Michael's apartment, I think, as well. But we didn't see it, but we didn't really have to answer to look because we were at full, full chat. Uh... I guess we're closest to uh, Scotty's old apartment, so I guess we go that way. Um, it's kind of along that road by the Life Invaders office, for those that might not have seen some of the older ones of these. That, I guess, is as good as any place to head. I mean, we've got, we're back to a gauntlet again. I say the downside of this. Um, there actually is a decent... We've got Sentinel spawning now. Um... With with the way this works, with the necessity of running almost after blowing a pre-up, uh, you are, I say, limited in terms of your vehicle choice, in that I'm always going to be cutting it... I'm always going to be on right the limit of the supercar rule, essentially. I'm always going to drive the very fastest thing that I can find. I don't know why my lights were on then, that was odd. Um, so, Gauntlet, or... In this case, I have... Like, I can't drive a Stania. I wouldn't really want to drive a Ricotto, or even a Hummer for that matter, because the risks are so huge. Because now I'm having to deal with police. If I can have something that can deal with the police cars really easily, that makes my life just a little bit easier. It just gives me that little bit more of a chance um, that we might survive. So, yeah. Right, let's get this window down. Have a look for blimps. Can't see a blimp anywhere. We're going to have to get ready to run again. I mean, if we can blow one of these up incognito, that would be great. I just don't know how we'd do it. Uh, I mean, the only way we could do it is blow one up and then immediately hide. Is there a car park around? There is a car park around here we could go into if we're not seen. Uh, oh, there's a green light on us here. Um... Yeah, there is a car park down by the tennis course. It just depends on how far down the pre is for us to do this sort of shenanigans. And it might not even be uh, easy to get to. It could be in that car park bit there, for example. Uh, yeah, where the hell is it? Uh, there, okay, there it is. It's over that side. Uh, actually, is that the one I'm even looking for? Hey, yes, it is. That's an AI that's done that. The hell has gone on here? You know what? As tempting as it is to uh, hang around, the AIs there are causing such mayhem. Right. We've got rid of that. Can I get... Oh, no, 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 no. This has not gone quite the way I wanted it to. Can I get myself to the little hidden car park quickly? 
No, I'm not if I go this way, I can't, because this is a slightly long way around. Uh, oh, oh, don't mind me. Ah, oh, no, we're not far enough away. Uh, there are just too many people about. <laughs> yeah, I, I made a slight wrong, I made a slight awkward way of getting out there. There was more to stop police, I think, from, from catching, but even then there were just people in the vicinity quick enough. Okay, Gauntlet. You know, maybe not quite as fast as the Zion in terms of straight line pace. Oh, and it snapped big time on us through there. Uh, I mean, we have only got a Mesa giving chase, one of the Merryweather ones, which I'm not as fussed about straight line speed wise. It's not going to keep up with the Gauntlet. So we're going to go for this. And I know the police, uh, like a two star wanted, I should have gone right rather than left. I know at a two star wanted level, the police are not exactly going to be the most efficient. Whoa. Uh, the things giving chase so we can just outrun them that's why I'm not doing much I kind of adjusted the way I'm driving it in pursuits I know I do often go for long straights when I've got performance like this but this is actually more because every corner every blind corner I go barreling around there's a chance I'm gonna find a police car so here like I can see there's no police cars in front of us uh, the line of sight the long line of sights is a problem now can we break that line of sight here because they won't know what way I've gone here. They might just follow the sirens. That's the problem bit I have, uh, is they can just follow the sirens. The blimp I'm trying to confuse, I'm trying to make difficult for, because it's going to really struggle doing all of these like twisty around U-turns. I don't know if it saw what way I'm headed. That was a hunter. There's two hunters have just shot that direction, so we're going to bail up this way. Come on, get rid of the wanted level, please. Is that a hunter van? I think it must be. Not so worried about a hunter van. That's going to struggle to stay with us. I couldn't dive into the car park. Uh, I mean, well, I, I say I could have physically have done it, but the van saw us. We weren't out of line of sight. Uh, could dive into that car park. We might have been out of line of sight there. Where is the blimp? Can't see it. Whoop. People carry it and shoot across. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go for a bit, because they're all going to be behind us. They're going to be, like, recovering to head in this direction. And... Oh, wait. We could actually have a look. There is one up here. There is one by Michael's house. If it's in Michael's house, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get to. Uh, it is in Michael's house. Uh, does that gate not open? I'm not risking that. Not, not at this second, not at this moment in time, I'm not, because I don't know if we're far enough away. I thought that gate opened, I presume, presume it would have done. Uh, bloody hell, okay. Okay. We are mostly out of the way. Did I see a car down? I didn't see a car in this bloody car park. Uh, we need to ditch this. We need a new car. We need to ditch this because it's wrecked. I'm not driving a bloody van, not in this. <laughs> I'd rather have a wrecked car that gives me away than drive a van at this moment in time. Uh, I don't want to... St oh, that's a van, 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 van. I need a car. I need a good car, not a super diamond. They're too cumbersome. Oh, crap. The van, I think, saw us. How did it see us? I should have dove up one of these roads. I could have ditched it. There's so many nice cars in these in these um, driveways. We're still being followed. Like, oh, would you see that from the road? Probably. Maybe I should have tucked it around a little bit better. I don't know if we're still being followed. I don't know whether that van saw us or whether... Yeah, or whether it didn't. I kind of wanted to just get... Right, let's get this car properly hidden. You're never going to see this. You'd have to be really looking hard. The downside is if they do know that I'm up here, we're doing that classic, making it kind of difficult for ourselves to leave. Um... I think they're going to know where we are. 
got pretty good line of sights down here. The blimp's too far away, as tempting as it is to rock it. Actually, I wonder if we could freak out, because we're so far away. Ah, it's not going to lock on. So the, my thinking was, we're so far away, we can never hit it, and I've not got the ammo. I don't know whether it could lock on without the ammo. Anyway, the, my logic behind that thought, if I l aim at it from a long way away but don't fire, the lock-on sound will go off, and the blimp pilot, I believe it's Danger Man today, will freak out because they think they're going to get shot, but they'll think whatever's shooting them is close. They won't expect me to be locking on from a mile away. Uh, I wouldn't fire the rocket. I don't really want a ricotto, but... Let's just see, do any of these houses close by have anything better? Uh, Ricotto will do. Plus point with these, all-wheel drive. We're kind of strong. Just not as fast as a gauntlet. If we can find a gauntlet, Zion, Sentinel, anything like that, I'll take it. Uh, I mean, at this stage in the hunt, I might even just take a bloody bullet and be done with it. Go for the supercar, break that rule, because we're right towards the end. Oh, typical there is a gauntlet. Maybe we go for a supercar. Before we leave the hills. Got to be careful though, they will think I've gone up here. If that van didn't see me, it's possible it didn't. Um, actually, no, I can't. Oh, bloody hell, I'm going to try to do a quick flick around, but it didn't quite work. Please tell me that gauntlet. You know, that is just an AI. Uh, <laughs> it was coming with some speed, and I was just, please tell me I haven't beamed it up. Where's all the nice things gone? They've all vanished. I can't go block Michael's one. There's going to be too much heat around here, I should think. I just rolled for a stop sign there. That was terrible of me. Okay. Oi! Fine. You know what? Screw it. Screw it all. Bullet, come here. Uh. <laughs> right, let's hope there was no one around to witness that one. Don't think there was. Okay. Here we go. We're going to try to blow up. What's the time? We've got a few hours yet. So, the plan is... Oh, crap. There was a U in there. Uh, or a U. Or there's a truck there of some sort. Plan is, we park the bullet here. We can run in the side door. Technically speaking, also, this won't be against the rules. We'll still be within visual range and everything. Just making sure it's not one of them there. Right, bullet. Oh, really? <laughs> right, bullet, let's go. Let's get out of here. Couldn't have timed that one worse if I tried. I had committed to running to the car uh, with the van demo derby currently occurring. Uh, there's another pre down by the... I don't even know how many pre's I've got. I've lost complete track of everything that is going on in this. The bullet's not even that much bloody faster than a gauntlet. That's a small gap to aim for. That was a dangerous one. They have got themselves into a little spot of bother, but nothing crazy behind us. Uh, I see... I'm, I'm hoping we can... We should outhandle these by a considerable margin. And these fast corners could give them some grief. Now we're going for blinding speed. Now I've made I've made a little bit of a gap. Let's capitalise on it. Uh, you can see the speed of the bullet. And this is why we've done it. I know there's another pre down by the airport. They're going to know where I'm going. If they're clever, they might try and block me in, actually. Um, you know what? I'm not... There is one down by the airport. I could go and try and get it. But if they have somebody close... Uh, they've seen what direction I'm going in. They might, they might be wise to that plan. So we're going to bail slightly. Annoying, but we're, we've kind of got a bit mad for this in terms of getaways. Well, in terms of bravery and stuff, and I feel like I've pushed my luck way too many times. I don't think they're chasing me currently, either. Um, problem is, is now I've got to get another supercar. Because they're all going to have supercars. Um, oh, that's difficult. I find the one, the one one-way street I can run into, uh, and I can't keep this one because it's missing a door and it's all sorts of broken. Um, I can grab a gauntlet again. I'd be happy enough with that. What are you lot? I'm not driving. I, I would rather drive this and run the risk of being spotted than drive a Manana. 
because I will just be slaughtered if I turn up in a banana somewhere. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That will do. I don't know if anybody's around. I'm just kind of going oh, for it. Uh, no, that was a, like a banana in the distance. Whoop. Door shut. Thank you. Oh, that was a smooth car change. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> This has been madness. This has been madness from start to, well, whenever we end up finishing the bloody thing. I feel like the airport might be... Well, there's airport or Mirror Park where we can kind of aim for. Uh, I might aim for Mirror Park. Probably missed a couple somewhere. Or misremembered. We've, done, we've got a good haul, actually. Uh, Mirror Park is the safe option. We might not get there before the end of the time. We might do. We've got four hours to go. So, we might be able to, to do it. Plus, we can take a slightly leisurely stroll over there and not worry too much. I mean, I guess if it gets to, like, an hour to go, I can just bomb it the last little bit of the journey and just say, screw it. Um, that is a player in a bus. I'm not very worried about that one spotting me, I'm not going to lie. I wish my car would stop spitting fire, though. Fire bad? I mean, it won't give me away because the AI. It won't give me away exactly because the AI cars do it as well. However, it might still get you looked at. Like the AI cars do spit fire, but I don't think it's as much as a player car. And it doesn't matter whether it's normal for an AI. If it's something that means players pay attention to me, it's just bad. That's uh, <laughs> it's just it's just a bad thing. So yeah. Um, who knows? Who knows on this one? Um, if we can get oh, there's a the, the the blimp is probably circling around where I'm likely to be heading because there isn't actually that many targets left now. The hunters are not allowed to simply camp out a vehicle. Um, yeah, of course the hunters have gone up. It, you, you see what I mean with the supercar rule? The hunters have now gone up to there's a felzer that we've just spotted. Um, that's, you know, that's the price I pay for getting the bullet. I mean, the, the only reason I survived, really, was because I had a bullet on that one. That was ridiculous. Uh, it's always the bloody way. when Whenever you commit to one of those slightly risky plans, it's always when everybody turns up. Um, but, yeah, what can you do? What can... Well, I can't do anything now. And it worked. You know, the bullet got us away. It got us... We kind of burnt a bullet to get another point, if you like, another pre-kill. We're going to have to go soon. Come on, traffic lights. We've been stuck at these bloody lights for a, an hour. Um, let's get a move on. Thank you. We can hopefully make our way over to Mirror Park. Oh, stop spitting fire, please. Uh, it's the next turning. We want to go further down. Oh, come on. It's green. It's green. Go, 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 go. Uh, this is going to be a very difficult... It's going to be a real timing job here between... I thought that was a pink pre... Look oh, there, the AC, like a red AC in this lighting. Looks quite a lot like a pink pre. Uh, that'll do. Where is that blimp? It, it buggered off over. Oh, they've got a comet. Okay. Oh, dear. I think it's a green light for me here, but... Uh, I'm actually happy to wait. I know I could have gone there. Actually, you know what? Technically speaking, yeah. Technically speaking, that that why why would that be red for us to go straight on there? I don't understand that set of traffic rules. Never mind. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue. We know most of the hunters have just gone the wrong way. Um, bloody hell! I thought that bus was trying to see what I'd do by driving straight at me. Either way, I've played it off well enough, I guess. Right, we've turned down one of these a little bit too soon, I think. Uh, no, no, we can keep going through here, though. Yeah, 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 if we keep going straight on here, that'll get us to where I want to go. What is that? No, nope, it's just a Regina. <laughs> Don't panic about that. What's the time? What is the time? We've got two hours to go. 
That's the, the orange felt that we've seen around a bit. Oh, bloody hell, that was close. I mean, I think we're going to have to get ready to bomb the car and run. Like, there's going to be no stealth, and I'm fine with that because we've already got an hour to run, basically. Uh, if we can bomb the car and then go, I am okay with that. Uh, the pre is on the, like, I think it's in the little car park uh, around here. It's going to be my guess. It's certainly on that sort of, like, tip of Mirror Park. Stanley is missing a light, which suggests players have crashed into it recently. My car is spitting way too much fire to be... Oh, well, there it is. Okay, it's not quite where I thought it was, but uh, that will do. Time to go. <laughs> Time to get out of it. I guess we could try and bolt over to the um, airport. I guess that could work. Bus! Oh, that was a great hit. Uh, can I spin around? Where did the bus end up? Go, 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 go. Go, Audi, go, 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 Audi. We've got to try and get to the airport in an hour's time. It might be doable. It might be doable. It's going to have to be a hell of a drive to get across to it. But, yeah, it might not be completely out of the realms of possibility here. We've got... I know, I know where the car is at the airport. I think I know where it's going to be at the airport. Um... So if we can get across the map quick enough, uh, then that would be awesome. And we've got the car to do it at the moment. There is something following us. It's a long, long, long way back. Woo! Bloody hell, if the police had shot me... If I tell you what, if the police get the kill rather than the hunters, they are going to be sad. We're up onto two wheels. Jeez. Uh, right, they're gonna know what I'm trying to do as well. This is the real danger for me here, is we're going for the glory, but the hunters, admittedly, they're the wrong side of the map, and they've got to come similar sort of speed and distance as I have. Where is the little gap? Bugger, bugger, bugger. No, wait, 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 wait. Uh, there it is. Uh. They've got to cover our same sort of ground, but they know what we're trying to do. They're gonna be trying to get here to block me off from doing this. Oh, spin around. Come on, Audi. Come on, Audi. Go, 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 go. Uh, will they have been able to get across here quick enough? It's somewhere down here. Uh, there it is. Whoop. Let's get out of here. Uh, we'll blow up that one. That's a goner. Uh, I think I've got all the pre's. I'm not actually sure. Uh, <laughs> might have missed one somewhere on the map. There is an Audi heading our way. We have got 25 minutes to run. Uh, that's why I'm not actually going to go play up on the motorway there, because I don't see the point in risking trying to find an awkward rejoin uh, up there. I might as well just play it a little bit safe. We'll trundle along here where we're difficult. it's difficult to get shot at, basically. Um, we can try... Oh, okay. Well, I'll take it back. We have trundled and we've fallen off at the one in a really dumb way. Never mind. All is fine. There's definitely no way we're going to get blocked in here with 25 minutes to go. If I get killed now, I'm going to be really sad. Um, oh, we could get blocked in here. The 9F hit the Messer. Oh, Audi, just anyway, literally any direction that is a forward movement. The time! If I tell you what, if they'd managed to get out of the car and kill me then, it would have been amazing. It's done! The time is up. We have made it. We have survived the hunt. And I think we blew up everything. I think. We've probably missed something. In fact, I'm sure we've missed something along the way. But, uh, whoa! Bushes. Slow-mo bushes are still mean in the enhanced version of GTA V. There is no doubt about it. Uh, we're going to try to escape the country now. Sure, why not try and do this madness? Ah, oh, bloody hell. This has been... Rather good fun, I must say. Uh, <laughs> so, there we go. That has been a... Uh, oh, no! 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 We got clipped! We got clipped! I think Blakey had to reload. Uh, where did the other car go? There is... Oh, we shot a Chris. Uh, anybody else going to try and have a go? Anybody else around? Can we try and get out of the uh, country? Uh, that's a respawning Blakey, who will be out of it. Um, yeah, well, there we go. That has been a uh, 
<laughs> a survivor hunt, a different take. Oh, I see Ewan! Ewan's here! Jet! Jet! To the skies! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Why are we getting shot at? What's shooting at us? Oh, we're up. I don't know what we're shooting. Something we're shooting. I don't know what with. Bloody hell. <laughs> We had an impromptu escape the country. I didn't mean to go for this necessarily. Oh, dear. Well, there we go. This, uh, you know what? I'd say this is quite good fun. This is tough, I tell you what. Not being able to get rid of the police makes this very difficult for me. Uh, it does make it a lot more frantic in how I have to deal with because we have to kind of run and, yeah. Bloody hell, I can't believe we some somehow survived that. I can't believe we somehow got the plane in the air without managing to make a mess of all that, but, uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.